What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Many of us wonder about celebrities and, and, and why they date who they date, right? That's kind of what we do. We want to know why celebrities date who they date. And at first I used to want to know why, because you have Dr. Dre, he would be dealing with like, you know, these celebrities, these side chicks, you know, you got, you know, like Tay Diggs, he's dealing with, you know, April Jones, I believe that's where her name is. And, and Dr. J was dealing with April Jones, you know? So I, I never understood why that was, they, they were doing it. You know, it didn't make any sense to me until I understood something celebrities deal with each other because they have a lot to lose same thing with most rich people most rich people are not going to come out and date broke people because broke people don't have anything to lose this is why these guys these celebrities always get exposed by these ig models because these ig models have nothing to lose so with that as a precedent let's talk about the code all right now meg the stallion is getting exposed in this case many people are finding out exactly how she was getting around and boy was she getting around the baby ben simmons tory lanes o'shea duke jackson i'm just joking about that part right she's getting around okay so because she was getting around it's now coming out in the testimony and she's trying to deny it, even though we believe that it's true. Now, Delicious, who has also been around the industry with a lot of people, is going to come out and explain why Meg the Stallion has to lie. I'm going to play that clip and I'm going to come back. Look what's happening with Meg, mm -hmm. where her whole yes. personal life is being spelled out and then women as well as men are like well if it's embarrassing for your your boo to see it maybe you shouldn't lie so much it's not about lying it's like some things are not just personal for me if i'm involved with a celebrity it's personal for that person for too you know yeah. what i'm saying so maybe it's a cold. we're protecting yes yeah, they're cold which is why we're comfortable dating people that are in the same yeah. circle because we all have the same to lose and we respect the environment so you heard what she had to say now let me just say this i i think that's number one admirable that celebrities have that sort of code right because she don't want to put people's business out there and you know ben simmons might not want everybody to know and all of this i get it but it still remains, and the question is this. If you don't want everybody to know, why are you doing it? And again, I, I just want to know why, like, think about this. What if you're this person? Partisan Fontaine. I don't care if you're a celebrity or not. You're this guy. You're finding out everybody is smashing and dashing on the chick. And you got to believe that it, it, it could be true because these guys are doing better than him. So, you know, it's not like she wouldn't be with Ben Simmons if she could. She's with this dude for a reason because he's not on the same level as Tory Lanez or, or the other guys. He's not. He might be a good producer, but he's not on the level of Ben Simmons, right? So how, how does he feel knowing that what you have to be faithful to other guys was getting it for the free and this is the problem that a lot of men have right and and, and and you get to really figure out once you find this stuff out what do you find out like god dang man i'm overpaying i'm doing something for somebody that a lot of folks have had and the thing about it is this when you meet women, and I can't say how many of them do this, but you know, but in, 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 in certain aspects, what do they tell you? 
oh yeah you know i had a few people you know not that many people you know yada 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 right then when you uncover that unfortunately it's a it's a few more guys that have went ahead and hit that than you want to know about and then here comes all of the evidence of a lot of casual sex and again it's not like casual sex is a bad thing but a lot of it a lot of it and see in fact what i want to do is this i want to play this clip of this particular chick who had a lot of casual sex as a christian then punished her husband afterwards just listen to this so i'm going to talk about something that might make you a little uncomfortable but it's okay because we ain't about comfort over here so my husband and i went to a event i guess you can say or like a class in church called elevated marriage it was my first time there it was his second time there and i look at the topic and i'm like hmm, what are they going to talk about today right and i look down at the paper and it says sex and marriage so i was kind of like taken aback by it because i've actually been like in my mind thinking about that a lot only because i look at sex from a negative lens kind of i could say god is healing me from that because of my past and i want to give you all some revelation that i just got from yesterday so a lot of us grew up being very promiscuous if you did not grow up that way bless you you saved yourself from so much damage but because i grew up like that when I got into a relationship that was actually a real relationship and now my marriage, I realized that because God took away my desire for promiscuity and all that stuff, that I didn't have a desire anymore, even like for my husband. And although my husband and I would have sex, it was like really hard for me. Like I really had to push myself to go there. And it was like an internal battle I fought because I felt so bad. I'm like, am I not attracted to my husband? Like, why don't I want to have sex, yada, yada, yada. And I would have this conversation with God all the time in my head and never talk to my husband about it. So yesterday I'm sitting in there and I'm just like, I can't believe God is answering this prayer for me right now. So here was the one that stood out to me the most. In the world, we are taught that sex is better outside of marriage. But in the kingdom of God and why he tells us to wait is because sex with your husband when you become one with them is actually like the highest form of praise to God. Like our bodies were meant to have sex and meant to be unified with one another in deep intimacy. And this lady told me, she was like, some of you need to forgive yourself for being promiscuous. Some of you need to forgive yourself or forgive the people that have introduced you to perversion and the things that you've seen even like as a child. And that made so much sense to me because think about it, you guys. If we were never meant to have sex outside of marriage, then we wouldn't be having these weird thoughts inside of marriage of, oh, I'm not that person anymore. Oh, I'm not promiscuous anymore. Oh, I'm not this, oh, I'm not that. But it's, that's a lie. You were meant to be hot with your husband or hot with your wife. You would have became a freak anyways, eventually with your husband or your wife, right? I don't know, man. I hope that hit y'all the way it hit me because it made a lot of sense to me. It'll only make sense to the people that it's meant for. True. So, so I want you to hear that, okay? I want you to hear that. That's important. It's very important. Why? Because you always over pay overpay you heard that when she goes out in in the husband the one that's 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 marrying her that's dealing with her you find out all the other guys that she dealt with and gave more to and you have to be there all the time and you get less that's why people have the issue with the term modern women because what do you get? And I like the fact that it's discreet. But again, at the same time, look at all that you had to deal with. And I know you got to feel stupid like, yo, this dude smashed and dashed you. And we're, we're both doing the same thing. We both have the same access. And what are you getting in return? It, 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 like, like I said, right? It, it's just think, think about it. 
if you're getting something great in return, it's no problem. Usually though, for most guys, you're, you're, you're putting in money into this person, time into this person, emotional investment into this person. You and this person end up typically breaking up. They go on about their business. And then what? Then you find out who they deal with that. And the person that they got now is not even doing what you were doing. That's why marriage is such in long-term relationships for a lot of guys. It's such a bad idea for a lot of guys. Because you find out that the more that you put in, the less is worth. This is not true for everybody. But it's true for enough. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Thank you.